If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have the most feared release part three. Pretty exciting for a few reasons. First off, it's the final most feared release, which typically, hopefully, does mean it's the best most feared release. It also does sum up the end of the most feared promo in terms of big releases. We may get some limited time stuff. We may like Sunday as well. For Halloween, we may have some like limited time solos. We're gonna have something pretty useful in terms of like release part one, two, and three. We are beyond that. That will be that's today, obviously. So that's going to be the end of that. Now, guys, Halloween is Sunday, so that's exciting for all you guys who partake in Halloween parties. I mean, adults, kids, teenagers alike, right? They also, for the most part, people partake in Halloween. I didn't for quite a while just because I got kind of over it, but I'm back into it a little bit. But anyways, use the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always, and of course, if you guys do need coins, head on, down below, head on down below to my sponsor and use code Poodle at checkout for the cheapest coins on the internet. And again, don't forget my code, because if not, you miss out on some pretty easy savings. But let's get into this, guys. So first off, remember the challenges have opened up, you know, part three, which means that more of the, um, the most feared solos, the free players, you get another free 90, all that stuff, all the milestones that weren't able to be unlocked will be unlocked. I mean, you can go ahead and actually earn all the rewards available. Also, remember, there is going to be a new house rules. It's uh, the Warlock one, Tug of Warlock. Make sure you guys are going ahead and playing Tug of Warlock. You're going to be able to get... These are the rewards for that, just so you, if in case you guys never saw them. We have 10 wins as an 81 overall most feared player. 20k coins. 81 plus overall most feared player for 30 wins. That is kind of a lot. 20k coins for 40 wins. And I believe if we go on down to... The next one, 50 wins is going to be the 90 overall. Now, I kind of do think it's a bit excessive that 50 wins is the 90 overall end cap, which means no auction, no sets, anything for a 90 overall end cap. These cards really aren't that great, but they are released three, so that means it's only going to be the newer ones. But I do think it should have been at least in that. Or at least, I think it should have actually been auctionable, considering how many wins. 50 wins is a lot. I mean, that's that's, that's a lot. Um, again, you can go up all the way to 100 wins for an 85 plus overall. I don't think that's worth it at all. Uh, time wise unless you really just have nothing else to do and you really just want to be playing Madden like you enjoy playing and you just want to knock out You just want to you want to play anyway, so might as well knock out something that's fun. That's up to you But uh as we head over to the sets guys again Like I always say the best way to always gauge a new promo just or a new drop head into the sets click on click on the release And you can just see everything we have Jair Alexander, which is a super good card We have Aaron Donald we have DK Metcalf three banger names right there You know current current wise right current NFL wise Kyle Juice Everson Griffin Jordan Poyer Ryan Jensen, Logan Ryan, Keenan Allen, Preston Smith, Josh Jacobs, and Devin Bush. If you guys did watch yesterday's video, you would have seen all the 90s, including Aaron Donald. But let's head over to the, uh, the store, check out some of these special offers and everything else, and then we will head over to the auction block and check out the LTDs and some of the new players as well as some stats. As we head into the store, though, as you guys can see here, this is pretty interesting, right? So this becomes available at 10.30 Eastern Time, which is really weird. Because, oh, Halloween, sorry. So these are going to be Halloween packs. They are dropping ahead of time. So guys, we will be having. So it's a limited time offers, kind of like almost like a blitz, right? That's pretty cool. So these packs are obviously still available as per usual, but you can go ahead and get these. So the Dark Arts Bundle, it's a three times value. It does not tell you what it is, but it looks like a really cool pack with the X on it. And it's going to be 20 bucks. And you can get one of them. Here's the wrap of fantasy pack. This is pretty cool. You get to pick up. It's a fantasy pack of one of the 90 overalls for only about nine bucks via access. That is not bad. Some pretty decent pack values here, though. I'm not typically a proponent of taking packs, but when it comes to things like this, like special offers, packs are pretty useful on the special offers because that, it, like sometimes it'll be it's actually cheaper to purchase this pack and get a 90 than actually using coins slash pulling packs for the 90, right? So there is instances where it could be considered useful, and this is one of those instances, right? Obviously, a lot of people do it. It should drop value a bit, but either way, it's not horrible. But moving on from that, guys, head on over to the auction block and check out some stats. A lot of players that you want to talk about here that are looking pretty, pretty good, especially with the last drop. You know, like I said, banger last day, usually some banger drops, the JC Horn and so on and so forth. But let's go filter out by 90, uh, 94 to 95, right? Always want to check that upper echelon of overalls. See what we got. So we have the T.Y. Hilton, right? We got, um, let's see, let's see, let's see what else do we got dropping here. We have the JC Horn. So I want to go over. Jace Horn, anything else down here? Just making sure. Chase Edmonds, uh, that was the team of the week one. JC Horn did look really good, though. I do want to go over the JC Horn. Let's go check him out. So, we got 93 speed, 
JC Horton. Now that's going to be, that's fire guys. Cause he's going to get a 94 speed powered up, but let's go over the stats first. 93 speed, 93 Excel, 90 agility, 94 jumping, 91 play rec, 94 man, 88 zone. Damn. They had to do it to him. 92 press six foot one, two Oh five. Great frame. 80 catching 90 agility. Wow. 90 change of direction. Please tell me he has a hit power too. Like this car would just be absolutely insane. Uh, six down hit power actually isn't bad. Um, any block shed? No block shed. Okay, so guys, powered up with strat cards. If you can get the right strat card on him, you can get him above. You can do a 95 man, 90 zone, 92 press. You can get him up to a 94 speed with 94 excel, as well as get his catching to an 81. And even better, his hit power will reach 70 powered up, which means he'll be pretty, you know, moderately threshold to where he could lay the boom, right? His card's really, 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 really good. Probably one, probably the best cornerback in the game if you do get the strategy card in him for the zone. But he's still an insane, insane man guy, right? We have T.Y. Hilton as well, who I do want to check out uh, just for a second here. T.Y. Hilton, 93 speed. That's always going to be really good, right? 94 speed, that's crazy. That's really good. You know, I should get up to 99 speed with the right teams here. Uh, but the beauty of him is that he's going to get 90 catching traffic, above 90 catching, and he's going to have all 90 route running. The spec catch, again, isn't the greatest, but he's only 5'10", so I don't expect myself to be in situations where he needs to be catching the spectacular catch, right? He's going to be more of a throw him open kind of guy, but he has all the route running threshold to 94 speed. That's crazy good. As well as 90 change of direction, he will get 89 juke move, he'll get 87 spin. Not going to be the best with the ball in his hands, like he's not going to be that insane guy, but I think he will be able to burn people, run good slants. He's going to run really good routes, I just don't think he's going to be that guy that you're juking people out of their shoes with after the catch, right? But that's fine, because typically with the way next gen works, i rather just get a guy that can, have some, that can run good routes and can run with the ball, right? That's really what I care about the most here. Now if we check out some of the newest most feared drop, let's filter out by most feared now, since this is going to be a much bigger filter. And let's go check out some of the newest guys that were dropped here. Let's go all the way to the bottom. I do want to check out. We saw Aaron Donald yesterday, so let's check out Jair Alexander here for you guys. Jair Alexander, 93 overall. He gets 91 speed, 91 excel. That's pretty good, right? Because he gets the 92 speed and excel combo. And the beauty of this card is that he's all threshold, right? 92 agility, 88 jumping, 92 play rec, 93 man, 90 zone, and 91 press. So overall, he's going to be a completely locked down man zone press corner with 92 speed, 92 excel. Only 5'10", 196, but still really, really good. 92 agility, he will get 70 catching powered up. 93 change of direction. Not going to be great with the ball in his hands, right? But overall, he's going to be a locked down corner. He's just not going to be like Deion. He's not going to have that Deion Sanders after the catch ability, which is more than okay. Right, because you know what you're getting with the Jay Alexander card. You're getting a really... I thought he should have been a little faster. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I thought that should have been more of a 92-93, similar to JC Horn. Jay Alexander, super athletic. Then we have DK Metcalf. Now, the only problem I have with him is the short running. I wish that was one more higher. Although, if there was ever a route running threshold to not hit, I would prefer the short. Because typically, the medium and deep routes are the ones that you want those quick, nice cuts off. Uh, because there's more, you know, it takes longer for the ball to get to him. So you kind of want them to be able to make good separation on the second levels so that you can get, you know, even though the ball takes some time to sail, you have separation on the short routes, pretty much as long as they have even like an inch, it's going to be hard to pick off because it's such a quick pass, right? But powered up, you will get 93 speed, which is really good. 94 jumping all above 90 catching all above 90 route running besides 89 short, which can get up with the right strat card, six foot three, 229. 88 agility, 82 strength, guys. For next gen, there's going to be an insane car because of how weight and everything applies. 88 juke. He's going to have 85 change of direction, 87 truck, 90 stiff arm. Going to be like baby Brandon Marshall, 91 break tackle. And we're going to call this baby Brandon Marshall. I think Brandon Marshall is still better, but of course, he's also going to be more expensive. So you take that with a grain of salt, right? Like, you know, yeah, DK is worse, but he's also a lot more expensive. So you kind of have to take it as it is and be like, okay, so which one do you prefer, right? In terms of price wise versus overall wise. But guys, that's about it for the video. I covered just about everything I didn't want to cover. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And of course, comment down below if you guys need anything else. I'm out. Peace.